Hey y'all, it's Sharla from the Hartzell Homestead here on the Creative Retreat Kids YouTube channel. I'm doing a quick process video on um, this month's release, Spirit Powered, in my Vintage Reflections Junk Journal project. I've been working on this over the last several months, and I just wanted to take a little bit of time today and record my reflection questions uh, from this month's study. I've really enjoyed um, reading through the devotional a few times by Aaron Davis and working with uh, this month's kit. I've already prepped these book pages with a quick coat of the Apple Barrel Admiral Blue paint and let it dry and get ready. I'm going to do a little bit different approach this month where I've been doing a couple of double pages. I'm going to try to fit everything into like a matching two-page spread. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. Let's get started. Now, I printed this month's devotional on the blue parchment paper um, and kind of just stapled it together in a small little booklet so I could tuck it into the side of this double spread. And here on my dark blue background, I am using the Tim Holtz Lace Layering Stencil, simply blending in a white pigment ink through the design, and I absolutely love how this turned out. It's one of my favorite things when I'm using a stencil and a blending brush when you pick it up, see how it turned out. Now, I initially was going to try to match these up, and I did try that a couple of times and then I realized that as I got closer to the corners it was going to be a little more difficult to reach in there so I decided to just add a little depth and dimension and start kind of piecing and patching that around and, and it works out fine and I like that. I would recommend the um, unicorn white pigment ink in the shop in the creative retreat kits um, online shop and I'll link uh, that shop link below. Uh, mine was getting a little low. <laughs> I had to really work at getting enough out to blend in there and it turned out fine. But that was the first thing I did was go to the, the shop and um, add some uh, new white pigment ink to my um, my cart. This was just some that I had left over and so it's time to restock with a, a better quality one anyway. But I love the way this background turns out. I think it is a beautiful uh, backdrop to this floral paper that I'm going to use. I think I attached myself to this paper this month. I've used it in my Bible entry uh, in the margin. I'm using it here to create a couple little side pockets here, little tuck away pockets. And I even use some of the extra in my uh, scripture planner um, where I'm doing a daily scripture writing. So I'm using all of the bits of this kit up this month. So here I'm just going to fill in any blank spaces that I find and do a little bit more um, ink blending. I could play with stencils all day long. It really is a simple technique, but gives you a really uh, great impact. You could leave them standalone um, or it's a perfect place to do some building. And so here I'm going to uh, build just a little bit on top of it by creating those two little pockets with the leftover floral paper. I'm simply cutting them to length. Uh, just kind of by eye, and then I'm going to tear the edge to give me a little bit more texture, and I tear it uh, facing me, so that way I get a little bit more of that rough edge, and it exposes some of the, the white of the core of the paper. Most of the time when I do a little torn edge, I like to ink blend a little bit more, and I like to antique it, but with this page being so bright, I didn't want to bring any brown in it, and I'm instead going to leave the white edge so it coordinates with the white ink that's in the stencil background. I'm using a double-sided tape here to secure these pockets, and I'm just going to uh, lay the tape on the three outer edges, so that way it leaves me an open inside, and I'm simply going to uh, tuck in my devotional on the left and my reflection questions over on the right. Now, anytime we spend a few extra minutes with a devotional study and respond uh, to it in a more personal way, we have an added opportunity to listen to God and to grow. Uh, these little reflection questions are just tidbits and thoughts that help us close out our study time each month. Many times I record them on uh, the little journaling cards that come with uh, the Faith Field Digitals. But this time, since I was just doing a two-page spread to save space, I decided to cut the questions off of the devotional card. And then I just add some lined pages from a spiral, like a top spiral uh, list notebook. And I simply round off the bottom, put a little staple in the upper left-hand corner, and just kind of make a... A miniature little notebook but this gives me some lined paper I like to write on lines and this gives me a lined space to create a list for answers or even a few sentences for each one I decided to finish this page with a few details from the uh, stickers from the kit and I wanted to bring in a little hint of that uh, subtle green and so I bring in uh, some of those uh, keywords from the study and just um, kind of scatter them on the page a little bit and just to finish it up. 
I've enjoyed sharing some creative time with you today. I hope you're joining us for this month's Spirit-Powered Study. I also want to encourage you uh, to follow along as the creative team works through this kit all month long over on the Creative Retreat Kits YouTube channel. I will post product notes and links in the description box below. Have a blessed day.